Hi, I'm Tom DeCan. In this video, I'm going to show you how I use Webflow with Django to speed up my web development, particularly in the front end, by five to ten times. It's really much faster. And I'll do that by showing I'll show you what I do, take you through an example of me updating one of my landing pages and one of my web apps, but you could use it for anything, not just your landing page. And the trick is that I'm going to be using Webflow to edit, in this case, the landing page, but then I'm hosting, then I'm rendering it with Django. So here we are, let's hop into Webflow. I'll make a little change. So I've got this black bar here and I'm not quite happy with it. Let's make it change the color and to, oh, to, a, to a slightly lighter black. <laughs> I will, actually let's make one more change. Let's make them look more like buttons by having a blue, block blue background like that and then a obviously update the text as well so it's to it a white and you can see these have updated as well and you see now that's different from my original my current version of the web app because i'm rendering it with django in this case or whatever your web framework is i can just put uh, the template syntax there I'll show a login if the user's not logged in and show a go to your photos if they are logged in. And now I'm going to export and now click to download the zip. And now I'm going to download this to my, uh, to the root of my repo, my project. And then I'll open up my editor. Yeah, this is PyCharm. And here's the script that we're going to be using. This is what I wrote. We just get a bundle of all the assets from Webflow, which we've exported. And then this script simply moves everything into the right place, adds the static files, uh, syntax for Django. This is what the export from Webflow. And you can see, so this is a lotty file and a single JS file. And so we want to add links to all the correct places. And so I run this simply by commanders here and so this took, this shows but so I'm in my root file running Python this is the script and then this is the target web app for Django you would need to modify this if you're not using Django and so that's going to move all the all the files into the appropriate folders for that web app and then the target zip file run it not a good file, okay. <laughs> I haven't given the correct, that's actually not what it is. It's amazing photos. That's the name of the file. There we go. So that's, as you can see, updated tags, moved things around, moved all the images into the correct place, moved the JS into the correct place. And do I want to delete the file? I chose not to, I guess. So it's still there. And this is what we had. And you can see this is what we had before. And now if we refresh, there we go. The buttons have updated. You can see this is a lighter black. The margins have changed and so on. Style here and then export, run the script, and then you're updated. The limits of this are that you, inserting JavaScript is harder in, in, and a bit messy. This is gonna be best for building because there's no way to re-import into Webflow. And so this is would be, if you're gonna use a, a dedicated front JS front end, this would be good for sketching out your HTML first. Because if you're using a server-side rendered, which is rendering mainly HTML, like, like Django, and you can just, on its own, then you can just continually go back and forward between them. Uh, you can in, have um, like blocks of JS in, Webflow, but that's going to be you, you. You lose the visual aspect, and that will grow complex quickly. Webflow are bringing out something called DevLink soon, which is essentially allows you to export your Webflow to React components. That will be very interesting, and it does it automatically rather than having to run the script like I'm doing here. The key is though, will there be some sort of import function that would that would yeah? Then in that case, you just would not need to touch your editor in terms of HTML or, or far less. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. This approach is allowing me to build front end with particularly with a server side rendered tool five to 10 times faster. So I really recommend trying it. Yeah, all the best.